Is it time for something completely new in presbyopia correcting IOLs? Extended depth of focus lenses get you the quality, while multifocals bring the range, but what if you could combine them into one lens? Enter the Max Vision Edoff and Soft Multifocal IOL from Ophthalmopro. It's a lens combining the best of both worlds. We sat down with Professor Kai Januszczowski to talk about the lens, its design, and the real-world patient outcomes that have him rethinking the design trajectory of presbyopia correcting IOLs. Kai, so great to have you here. Thanks for coming on our program. Yeah, thanks for having me. Really excited. All right, well, I'm curious to hear more about the Max Vision IOL. Um, how does that stand out in the presbyopia correcting IOL landscape? I uh, think that the Max Vision IOL for me is the first of a very convincing um, concept. And it combines the EDOF concept with the multifocal concept. The modern EDOF lenses give you a very good far vision and a very excellent intermediate vision. If you add this concept with the Max Vision, which is a multifocal diffractive design, uh, but only bifocal, um, you're adding this near vision effect. And because you only have two focal points, um, you have more light that comes inside the eye, um, meaning that patients will have a better quality of vision regarding contrast sensitivity or in, in low light conditions. Well, considering the defocus curve involved here, um, could you tell us about the landing zone with this lens? Well, you're obviously aiming for, for a far visual acuity of 2020. You will see a 2020 that stays stable, and then you, you see just a little, a little drop before we go to the, before we come to the near part. Those are the results that have been demonstrated by the laboratory results of the optical bank. And um, I would say these results are reflected in my clinical practice now. How would you say this lens overall compares with other similar presbyopia correcting IOLs on the market? Let's be honest, regarding visual acuity, every, every multifocal lens on the market is good. <laughs> it, will, it will perform better regarding contrast sensitivity, low light, um, low light visual experience, and it will perform significantly better regarding halos. I love the fact that this um, is a glistening free material that this lens is produced with, and this has been shown in the laboratory as well. I think it's very important because you want to have a patient that is satisfied after 15, 20, 25 years, especially the young ones. Yeah, overall, how would you describe your clinical experience with the lens thus far? So far, I've been, I've been very happy, happy with, those, uh, with the results we have. Now, we've operated um, various patients, um, implanted the toric version um, and the regular version as well. There is um, two patients that um, uh, was a cook in a, in a local restaurant. Uh, he was used to working under low light, uh, low light conditions, a lot of stress, lots of changing between, you know, cut, chopping things up, um, reading the menu order, um, shouting across the kitchen or looking in the far distance. And I really thought that, well, this, this patient isn't, isn't the best option for a multifocal lens and we put in the bifocal one and he's, he's very happy about that. So we started operating the first eye and wanted to see how it comes out and then do the next eye um, maybe two weeks later. And after, after two, day, two days he called in and said, well, let's, let's prepone the surgery. I really want this lens in the other eye. That's really great to know. Um, what would you say is the sort of full demographic of patients that could really benefit from this lens? So I would probably start with, um, with the refractive patient that comes in that is unfit for a laser, for LASIK um, um, or for, for an ICL implantation. Um, patients that still have accommodation, so to speak. Um, those are the ones, um, the very hyperopic ones typically, that will profit from this lens quite a lot. I think that um, refractive patients um, from the northern countries, uh, where it's dark half a year, <laughs> they, will, 
they will really profit from that lens. So um, um, cheers to Norway, Sweden, Denmark. <laughs> Those will probably, well, I, I will not be operating uh, those patients, but uh, they will probably profit from that a lot. I think that this, so far, the profile of the lens, the clinical experience and the um, laboratory results that I've seen, um, I think this, this type of lens or this design or the Max Vision IOL will probably be the only IOL that we'll talk about um, in five to 10 years. That's great to hear. Well. Um you know, we were also kind of just thinking about a case study. If you're able to walk us through a particularly illuminating surgical case with this IOL, that would be really cool. We're sharing the screen here and um, I'm just showing you the video of the, of the implantation of the IOL there. Right, um, so everything's done so far right now and you can see that this is the shooter that comes in. Um, you can read it's a 2.4 millimeter incision and you can see that this, um, this is how the lens comes in and it comes in really smoothly in the preloaded design. Kind of like that a lot. And what I also like about the lens is the speed at which it unfolds. It's really, um, it's not too fast, it's not too slow uh, and it's a very, very controlled fashion. Now I'm just removing the OVD I would always recommend for every for every um, premium IOL to put an OVD in the capsular back, just for extra security. And then you can see that the um, the lens is in place there. So the um, the key points in that surgery is that you want to have um, you want to have safe and sound implantation and everything perfect for the patient. Preloaded lens really is is a very good thing because the lens is safe. It comes out every single time. It comes out the same. You won't have problems with the shooter. It's really easy handling. I think that every every premium lens should come with a preloaded shooter as a premium experience for the surgeon as well. Well, Kai, thanks so much for joining us here, sharing about this amazing new technology. Uh, really does sound promising. Yeah, thanks for having me. I can't, uh, I can't really say that. Um, for me as a skeptical regarding diffractive lenses, um, it really changed my view on everything and I'm just happy to share that. Well, cheers, well done. While there's still plenty of research to be done on Max Vision and its long-term performance, the early returns are clear to Professor Janachowski. For more on this innovative approach and how presbyopia correcting IOLs are evolving, reach out to Ophthalmopro for more information.